Alright, what's going on dudes and welcome back to Modded Survival. Before getting things started here, I wanted to give you a heads up about something you may or may not be interested in. Hopefully it's of interest to you. Anyway, between episodes of Survival, I will oftentimes, as I've mentioned in the past, go and do some sort of tedious work as far as collecting resources, organizing things, just stuff that I usually cut out of an episode. Uh, but usually I do that on my own time, just listen to some music and sit down, get it done before recording. Um, but anyway, if you watched yesterday's vlog, you may recall that I had sort of made it a goal of mine to live stream more. So I decided earlier on today that I'd actually go and live stream some of that uh, resource collecting, organizing things and stuff, um, which usually I would just have done on my own. So. It actually turned out to be really sweet, like 6,500 people showed up um, from Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch subscribers and whatnot, uh, as well as those who saw the YouTube bulletin. Anyway, I just wanted to mention it, because if you're interested in, in watching that, just so you can sort of see what was up, um, I'll leave a link to the, there's a rec pre-recorded video on demand that you can go watch if you missed it. Um, otherwise, if you're interested in seeing future stuff, you can either, if you have a Twitch account, you can follow my, uh, my channel on Twitch. Um, link is always in the description there, or you can make an account and follow it there if you want. It'll send you an email when I'm streaming. Otherwise, Twitter, Facebook, I do do YouTube bulletins, but oftentimes I don't know how well that goes out to everyone or if it even shows up if you're showing on your subscription feed. So anyway, ideally Twitter, Facebook, or Twitch directly, and all that's linked in the description. If you want to watch in the future and stuff, because I would like to live stream more. So anyway, on top of like resource collecting and stuff, the one sort of more significant thing that actually was done in the live stream that I wanted to uh, sort of recap was that I expanded the Taylor Kingdom's kingdom base, city base, whatever you call it. So I actually, uh, I think we had two things left at the end of the last episode as far as houses go. I think it was a small house or two small houses, I can't remember exactly. But anyway, it, they weren't very expensive. I, uh, I built them, and it looks like it's about to rain right here. Um, anyway, I built them, the, t the two that were remaining, and then an option showed up in Mr. City Planner Dude. If we wait for the menu to come up, here we go. Um, and it said build city tier two base, something along those lines. Anyway, I clicked the button, and uh, lo and behold, we have a much expanded city wall dealio here, and as you may have noticed, we have some uh, new options for, for building stuff. So we have a barracks, food shop, and uh, blocks shop, as well as a, a few more houses and whatnot, or builder house, I think that's new as well. So we can build some, some new stuff. So I'm thinking, I've actually got quite a few resources in my inventory here, like a lot, uh, explicitly for the purpose of, I thought, barracks sounds cool, Probably costs a lot, so let's just fill up the bars on each and um, build barracks. Yeah, that's expensive. Uh, and see what happens here. Where is... Oh, there we go. That's a huge brand new building. Oh my goodness. So apparently, as soon as you build all of the structures that are in his list, it'll give you the option to upgrade to the next tier, and that'll expand the building. I'm just hoping that uh, tier 3... And if there is a tier four, tier five, etc., <laughs> don't go and eat into Jerry's tree over there. I might have to do a test run, actually, back up the save and do that uh, the next upgrade just to make sure it doesn't, like, eat into uh, things that are of importance. Let's check this out, dude. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Barracks, total money, I am rich. That's another thing that I did on the stream was I killed a lot of dudes and sold their sandstone for lots of money, so I am even richer than before. Um, so, he looks kind of like he has the same functionality as the Guildmaster, except for a few more options here. Um, he's the Warden. Huh, shall we recruit someone? Is that just not loading here, or are there are literally no blocks there? I'm confused, okay, just not loading. Um, I don't know, we have so much money, we can do whatever we want, man. <laughs> shall we recruit a knight and an archer? There we go. Hello, my fellow comrades. Are you ready to adventure with me on a noble quest of glory that all will remember for the ages? Are you ready? Follow me. Let's go. Let's not get clogged in the doorway. 
This is bound to happen. It's like, okay, we're going on a magical quest. I don't know how to get through the door. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> oh my. Step one on magical quest, get through the door to go outside. Man, this is a tough one. I know. This is like, it tests all your might and all your strength. And I know you can do it. There we go! Congratulations! You have completed the first task of the adventure. Get outside. How fantastic. So, let's see what happens when I right-click you. I will guard this area. No, you won't. You will follow me. Alright, hmm. So you can, like, maybe you can go and mine and stuff, and these guys can chill, they'll chill behind you and, like, protect you, maybe? That would be awesome. Um, shall we build another thing? Because, dude, we have so much... We still have so many resources left. Um, what shall we build? We shall build a food shop. I need to give you resources first. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Um, actually, we don't have too many resources, do we? Uh, is that enough? That is enough. Fantastic. Where is the food shop? Is it over there? There we go. There is the food shop. It has cakes on the outside that I could probably eat. <laughs> That's very unwise. I can eat your decorative cakes. Should I please? How are you? How are you? So, uh, you'll give me bread, raw pork chop, cooked pork chop, raw beef, steak, raw chicken, cooked chicken, golden apple, yada, yada, yada. How much do things cost? Let's see. Bread is 32, 21. Dude, I don't even. I, earlier on, I was like, I need to go and kill some animals to collect some. Heck, no, I don't. I have 200 and. Ten thousand dollars. I can just buy all the food I need. Like, how much? Oh, golden apples are expensive. I was just gonna load up on those, but um, maybe not. How about raw chicken? We will get a lot of cooked pork chops. So I'm gonna buy sixteen of them. I'm gonna buy even more of sixteen of them. Even more of sixteen. More. More. I'm so hungry. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Now we have food for a very long time. Can I sell you anything? Or does it have to be food related? It probably has to be food related because previously I couldn't sell food to the blacksmith as far as I'm aware. What happens if I do this and give you... Okay, so I can sell my food back. Um, they're like, I don't know how to get to the front. I'm gonna follow you around the back. <laughs> I have no idea what they're doing. Uh, I obviously can't get up there without placing a block down and I won't ruin your store by placing things down. Okay. Alright, good. You know to follow me around the house. Good job. Really swell job, guys. Um, there's a really weird thing that was happening. Very, very strange. That, yeah, when, when you get, you just saw it right there. When you get close to a mob within the confines of the king, kingdom, within the confines of the king. I am the king. I'm always within the confines of the king. Um, that's an ender spider, by the way. Oh, I totally forgot to mention, I upgraded Divine RPG. So this is now version 1.2.3, as far as I'm aware. And so this thing I'm gonna do here. Oh, it's gone when I go into the menu. Uh, that little bar over the food bar. That's this. I call it the seizure bar. It's actually the. It's like quote unquote. It's man a mana bar. I don't know what this. It's like Arcana or something. I think it's the Arcana bar. Anyway, it, it acts like mana. And uh, I think that our dude is off trying to find a spider that just teleported. Um, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. He's like, God damn it! Where did he go? <laughs> he can't, dude. It's okay. Just follow me, please. Follow me. God damn it! God damn it! Ender, Ender spiders and these dudes just apparently don't mix. He's like, he's like, no, no. I'm a cat and I must find it. <laughs> he's gone. We lost him. We lost him. He's never coming back to us. Don't engage in Ender spider, please, or you will never come back. To following me. God, no. I wasted my gold on him. Um, or maybe he'll teleport after a certain amount of time. Anyway, that's the Arcana Bar. Some certain weapons use it. I haven't encountered any yet. Um, but anyway, we'll see. And also, the best thing ever is... Watch this, watch this. Where is it? No, I totally spelled that really wrong. Okay, here we go. The Captain Sparkler. Oh my goodness! It's like a weapon that's kind of named after me. I think, I think, I hope, or else I'm just, <laughs> or else I'm be. it's very awkward if I am incorrect that it's not named after me. I don't know if it's Captain spelled that way on purpose. I have no idea. But anyway, 
I'm, uh, I'm going to continue under the impression that it's named after me, and I'm very flattered. So, maybe one day we'll be able to get it. I have no idea how, though. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's new. And hopefully, I don't know, we'll be able to make it to the Arcana, which is this new dimension. I was told on the live stream by someone um, that the Arcana is, like, beyond the Augite dimension, which is the final one that you would go in before. I'm not sure how accurate that is, uh, but we will end up seeing. Let us collect some more resources and we can just continue to build out our kingdom. Why are you attacking him? He's passive. He's passive. He never did. No, he's not passive. He just wouldn't. That sound is horrifying. It truly is. <laughs> well, all right. Thank you for that. <laughs> At least he doesn't teleport. And you're still. Wait, what? 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 Did you just get like a freaking ninja skin? What the heck? Didn't you just look different before? Wait. Yeah, you did. How did you just magically change your outfit? He's a fashionista ninja. Wow, that's crazy, dude. I'm so glad that I have a fashion-conscious ninja to follow me around. That's awesome. You're going to be my best buddy until you get distracted by an ender spider. And then we're probably never going to see each other again. I'm terribly sorry to report. Shall we find any of the, uh, the sand dudes, maybe? I don't actually see any of them. Please spawn. Please spawn somewhere out there. Why? Are, what are you doing out here? You're going to get in trouble, Mr. Elfman. Mr. Elfman, who it's past Christmas, but is still in the mod because I haven't updated it. I don't even know if there's an update yet. Um, but, yeah. Actually, no, I did update, but I guess the Christmas dudes are still the Christmas dudes. You're just getting really sidetracked, aren't you? Well, I guess... Huh? Huh? You, mean, you keep changing your outfit. No, don't get distracted. Oh, whoo. Oh, you killed him in one hit. That's fortunate, because otherwise you would never have come back. To God dang. Fa fashion conscious night. Can you follow me now? Pretty please? Thank you. Good job. Good. Good job. Good job. I do appreciate it. Okay, well now we have more resources and we can continue to build more of the... Oh, hello, you're back. I'm so glad. <laughs> you finally decided to rejoin us. What a great guy. No longer distracted by the Ender Spider. Okay. Did you get him? Did you get him? Or are you just... I'm really curious how that guy just keeps changing outfits. You one day will have to reveal your secrets to me, sir. Okay, what shall we build? We shall build... Let's build all the different unique stuff, like a block shop. Um, block shop is... Where can I find you? Right here, I think. Is that is very good. You got a lot of sand clogging up your, your place right here. Is there another entryway? Can I... Do you have anything in your furnace? Apparently not. How about I go up here? Maybe this guy will sell mod items. That would be great. Maybe finally we'll get to see some mod items, dudes. You ready for this? Maybe? It could happen. It could finally happen. Come on, I don't see anything yet. I don't see anything yet. Ah, uh, no mod items. Ugh. Nope, doesn't exist. Gosh darn it, but I didn't, I don't know what I just bought. I didn't mean to click that, I meant to click back. So what do I want to see the... Irony of this would be if I could buy something and sell it to the blacksmith for more than I purchased it for because that would be giving me infinite monies and I don't know. Let's hope that uh, maybe that was a bit of a lapse in uh, realization on the behalf of the mod creator that I can buy and sell for what should I, what is he like? What does the blacksmith really like? Um, actually, I don't even know if he'll buy all the stuff in here. I'm just, I'm looking for mossy cobble. Is there mossy cobble? Um, how much does a glass pane cost? Iron bar, 57. Mossy cobble is moss stone, 90. And how much, I think he takes it for 80. Let's see, I'm going to buy one. Um, there's one. So that cost 90. I thought it was 80, but I'm not for sure. Okay, come out, come back out with me, dudes. Come back out. Good. Good job. Good job. You made it out without a hitch. No ender spiders to distract you. Okay. Um, was there a cell down here? I completely forget. Can I sell? No, apparently not. So I'm going to have to go over to the guild to that blacksmith to sell. I think, actually, let me check just to be sure that the cell box over here at the food shop does not accept things the blacksmith likes. 
we are gonna see in just a moment. Hello, would you like some mossy cobblestone for cooking your food? Some nice, some nice bacteria-infested moss to maybe cook your food on? That would be great. Here we... Oh, wait, she actually does take it. Was that a hundred? Hold on. Am I about to just stumble upon the greatest investment of all time? I totally wasn't even paying attention because I did not think that she would accept it. Apparently she will. So, let me buy one more. Where is it? Next. Moss stone. Buy item. Okay, so that's 90. Let me just verify. I'm so sorry I wasn't paying attention. I was just like, there's no way she's going to accept this. But apparently it's a universal cell block. Uh, cell block. That sounds like something in a prison. Because it is. Uh, a sell your item block, I mean. So 81. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you a profit of 10 <laughs> every time you sell it. That's the best. <laughs> you can just keep buying it and selling it and make money every time. That is a very tedious process, but I now know of a way that you can just make infinite money without having to do anything but just keep reselling what you bought. So anyway, that's good to know. Um, yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. So let us, what do we want to do now? Maybe there's a quest. Does anyone give us quests? I really want to go on a quest because we haven't done that in a while. Like does the word, I, I guess the warden doesn't give us any quests. Um, if we go back to the guild, will someone give us a quest maybe? Let's check. Hopefully you guys will teleport with me because that would be nice. Um, well, it takes a few seconds if it's anything like the dudes from the guild. Um, oh, by the way. I titled the uh, the the mine shaft where we were with our mining dude. It's called Some Dude's Shaft. That was due to a recommendation from the uh, the stream chat. So anyway, <laughs> here we are back with this guy. Oh, and I also learned um, the reason that he wasn't working is because he gets caught on the workbench. Like when he's just standing here the whole time, he actually is supposed to break free, and then he'll just stand still and he'll give you. Uh, a piece of cobble in your inventory every few seconds. Actually, let me just do a quick demonstration. That's mine. Did I just destroy my command block? God damn, I'm a genius. <sighs> Why did I do that? Anyway, well, now I get to give a demonstration. He gets caught on this thing, then you break it, and you break it, and if I go into my inventory and wait just a few seconds, one of these two, or it'll make a new stack. Where's the new stack going? There we go, one new cobblestone. So that's how he actually works. I wasn't actually supposed to destroy the whole entire mine that was like a mile long. Anyway, now you know. So now I have to make a new command block to get back to the kingdom. Let me do that really quickly. All right, go into cheat mode and grab myself a command block. Bam, 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 bam. there we go. Place you down. Over here, we have a button, fortunately, because I'm carrying buttons with me now, because we experienced some technical difficulties before when I didn't have a button on me. And let me switch back into there, grab the coordinates, which are right over here. You see how systematic I've got this down to now. And bam, bam, that is a TP setup. And back home we go. <laughs> All right, and hopefully I didn't just set this up so that now I'm going to intersect something when I TP. No, fortunately not. Good, good. All right, there we go. It just takes some health because my head intersects the ceiling when I go. Anyway, what does an ender shard do? Let us switch back to recipe mode. And what can I accomplish with the ender shard? I probably looked this up already, to be perfectly honest. Um, we can craft an ender stone, and then the ender stone can be used to craft... Ooh, so we want to kill these ender spiders. This is probably actually very useful. Um, let's keep checking things out. Weapons, legendary ender eye. Good God, uh, ender bow. And okay, what is what do you accomplish with a legendary ender eye? Oh man, you can do a super fancy freaking sword. That's awesome. Well, let's kill all the ender spiders that we possibly can. That'll be a goal for us. That'll take a very long time. That might even take longer than it will take to get all the uh, the Arlamites and the Rupees that we need to make it to the very first boss. Good God. I cringe every time I think of the fact that we're going to have to do that at some point. Um, yeah. We haven't talked to the farmer in a while. Maybe we should talk to him. 
see if he's just gonna keep giving us bread or if maybe we can do something with him. Oh man, we can start a quest. Let's start a quest. Let's go help him farm some stuff. This does not work yet. What do you mean this does not work? Give me bread. You son of a gun, how come I can't quest it up? Oh wow, that's a big crab. That's a very big crab. Uh, what about you? Is the quest still... The quest is still the same to find those villager dudes. Fine. Is there anything new that we can do? How about you? How about you? Um, you still just look like the farmer and allow us to do nothing new. Guildmaster, we haven't checked in with you in a very long time. Is there anything new for you to give us? I guess we're about to find out. Hmm. <laughs> All right, Santa. Can you give us any presents, even though it's past Christmas? Um, apparently not. And I just realized apparently our dudes do not teleport to us, so we have to head back to the kingdom to uh, to get them. Oh well. Hmm. I wish there was some more quests for me to do. Why doesn't the farmer have one? Why doesn't it work? Why do I have to be patient for the farmer to give me a quest? That's very rude. You don't leave your king waiting. That's not how this works. That is just very, very not good. Oh well, let me just sell some stuff for the time being. Let me sell my sandstone that I collected from uh, from our archer hunter. No, it was our knight who killed the poor defenseless passive dude. Ha, <laughs> yeah. All right, and see how much red wool sells for. Not too shabby, I suppose. Thank you for the bread, Mr. Farmer, as well. Okay. I guess we're good to go. I just, I don't know if I want to engage the crab because then the dudes are going to join in and they're going to get themselves killed. So, yeah, we've already lost quite a few of them. You'll notice there aren't too many elves left around because they've all died to stuff. Oh, man, what a great set of dudes. Anywho, I don't know, man. What should we do at this point? It would be nice to find some quests. I guess we can just keep going and collecting resources and uh, trying to build out the kingdom. That would probably be, hello, you're right where I left you, that's good to know. Just keep collecting resources and building some stuff out, and then maybe, maybe, just maybe, someone will give us a quest. Or allow us to buy mod items, because still, no dice on that one. Hello, let me collect your resources, I'm surprised the bar hasn't filled up yet. Hmm. Oh well. And... How about you? How are we doing? A little bit better. Yeah, you guys doing better than the quarry dudes. That's good to know. Oh god. When I, when I repaired the kingdom, I just trapped a bunch of these guys in the same spot apparently. I'm so sorry. Not that you were going to do anything anyway as far as movement goes. But I am sorry. You're under some very, very probably not sanctioned by OSHA working conditions there. So let me just give you some apologies. But the fact is that you're in my kingdom and this is a monarchy. So we don't exactly have... The, uh, we don't exactly have to abide by the guidelines set forth by OSHA, so... Sorry dudes, you're stuck with your, uh, menial working conditions. I am terribly sorry to inform you. See if we can build something new. Hello, let me feed you more of my resources. How much do I have? Probably not enough to accomplish much of anything. That's a nope. <laughs> well, we'll just have to keep waiting on that guy to, uh... Continue giving us some resources. 